Welcome! This is part one of the workshop series You Quote It, You Note It, Avoiding Plagiarism in English 101. The first part of this workshop focuses on how to define and avoid plagiarism. I'll explain what different types of plagiarism are, why academic integrity matters, and some strategies to help you avoid plagiarism. The second video in this series will explain how to create citations in the MLA format. The definition of plagiarism is using someone else's words or ideas as if they were your own, copying their work without giving attribution or credit. Here are six types of plagiarism. Global plagiarism is presenting an entire text by someone else as your own work, like submitting a friend's paper with your name on it. Paraphrasing plagiarism is rephrasing someone else's ideas without citation. Verbatim plagiarism is directly copying and pasting a passage of text without citation. Mosaic plagiarism is combining text and ideas from different sources without citation. Self-plagiarism is reusing passages and ideas from your own previously submitted work. And incorrect citation is failing to give all the necessary information or giving false information in your source citations. We link to another video that further explains plagiarism. I encourage you to pause this video and watch it. But why does it matter whether or not you've used someone else's words or ideas? It's true that your professors expect you to use outside sources for many assignments, including research papers. We learn from the work of others. It's not wrong to use that information, but it is very important to make sure you cite it properly, that you show your reader where the information came from. Doing that demonstrates academic integrity. Your professors expect that the assignments you submit are the result of your own hard work and effort. Submitting something that involves plagiarism is not a true representation of your learning. Here are several tips for avoiding plagiarism. They basically come down to taking good notes and being organized. Keep track of where you find your sources. Email the article to yourself with the citation directly from the MC Library's databases. Take notes as you read your sources and mark in your notes whether you're quoting or paraphrasing from the text. Always include the author, source title, and page numbers in your notes. Create your works cited page before you write your paper. This makes it easier to keep track of your in-text citations when you start to write since you have your sources already prepared. You can always ask for help with sources and citations. Use the MC Library's chat, make a research appointment, or just stop by the library. Writing Center tutors can help you incorporate sources into your writing and cite properly as well.